Number four, the minute hand of a wall clock measures 10 centimeters from its tip to the axis about which it rotates. The magnitude and angle of the displacement vector of the tip are to be determined from three time intervals. What are the magnitude and angle from a quarter after the hour to half past? The magnitude and the angle for the next half hour and the magnitude and angle for the hour after that. So let us draw what's happening here so it's easier to understand. So the first thing that we have to do is to calculate the displacement vector between this vector over here and this vector over here. So this is the first thing that we have to do. The second thing is this vector over here. This is the initial vector and this is the final vector. And the third situation, this is the, the, the initial vector and it is also the final vector because it is a full hour after the, the, the first hour. So it is exactly, exactly at the same point. So let's go for letter A. Let's suppose that our coordinate system is like this. This is X and this is Y. So our initial vector, let's call it vector A. Is it, this is vector A, this over here. Vector A is equal to 10 centimeters in the I direction. And the vector B is equal to minus 10 in the J direction, also in centimeters. And the displacement vector is given by B minus A, so it's B minus A, which is equal to minus 10 in the J direction, minus 10 in the I direction in centimeters. So this is the, uh, the vector, but we want the magnitude of the vector, so we have to do the magnitude of B minus A, which is equal to the square root of each component squared, so minus 10 squared plus minus 10 squared and this gives us roughly 40 centimeters so this is the answer of letter a for letter b we want the angle so for letter b the angle is equal to the tangent to the minus one of the y component so b minus a but it is the y component over b minus a and this is the x component so it is equal to the tangent the minus 1 of minus 10 over minus 10 and this gives us two different answers 45 degrees or a, minus 135 degrees and we have to choose which one is the correct one so our vector here it goes from this vector to this vector over here so our vector is something like this so if you draw your coordinate system over it you can see that this angle over here it is minus 135 degrees 45 degrees would be something like this okay so we can see that this is the correct answer minus 135 degrees so that's the correct answer for letter C, let us draw this vector. This is vector B, right? And that one we are going to call it vector C. So vector B is the same. Vector C is equal to 10 in the J direction in centimeters. And we want to find C minus B. C minus B. And C minus B is equal to 10 in the j direction minus minus 10 in the j direction which is equal to 20 in the j direction centimeters so we want to find the magnitude of the vector which is equal to the square root of 20 squared which is 20 centimeters so this is the magnitude of the vector as for letter D, we have to do the same thing as we have done that. So the angle is equal to the tangent to the minus 1 
this is the y component so 20 over 0 and this gives us 90 degrees for letter e so this is what we have for letter e so both of them are the same vector so we can call them both vector c and we want to find c minus c which is of course zero right and for letter f the angle is the angle it's the same because it they point to the same direction so the angle is zero as well <laughs>